Scorpio, welcome. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're going to do your general love reading for the month of August 2024. Please like, share, subscribe. I am available for private readings. All of my information can be found in the description box under the video. This is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Let's see what's in your overall energy. Hope you're all doing well out here. Welcome back if you're a, a regular here. All right, so we've got the night triumph over adversity. I call this dude my Kool-Aid guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Breaking through the barriers. It's the Kool-Aid guy, the night. Yes. All right, what else is going on? What else is going on for Scorpio? Font. Knight of Wands, the Magician, the Tower, and on the bottom you've got the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, well, you're out here, like I said, you're doing what is best for you. You need to have more faith in yourself. Um, we are in Mercury retrograde. Mercury is represented here by the Magician. This is Gemini Virgo energy. But this is knowing that you have all of the skills, everything you need to be successful. Um, you are in this powerful manifestation stage in your life right now. You have the power to create the kind of life you want, the relationships you want. There could be trouble with a, uh, a deep soulmate connection here. It could be a karmic connection. And not all karmic relationships are bad. Okay, it's just, you know, you've got some unfinished business from a past life or you're, you know, learning life's lessons here. Remember, we are all souls having a human experience here on the earthly plane. And um, you're learning those lessons. You need to have more faith in yourself and know that you are a powerful manifester and a powerful creator. We create with our thoughts and our words and our actions. There's some sort of fear that you're afraid that this relationship is going to turn out crappy, just like your other relationships. You know, and I feel like there's just like this on the fence type of energy around a certain connection because you're letting old stuff affect your way of thinking. Everybody is different. You cannot compare other relationships with this person or with this connection. There's going to be some sort of sudden breakthrough, um, some sort of realization. But you're out here just, you know, creating change. And Cancer had a similar theme in their reading about, you know, the change starts with you. It starts within. You, you cannot, you have to do what's best for you. You cannot follow what society expects from you. Because what, what's, you know, that might not be your story. You're out here doing your own thing, doing things your way. I'm hearing that Frank Sinatra song, My Way, which was also covered by Elvis. <laughs> uh, my dad used to walk around the house singing that song. 
I could always tell when my dad was in a good mood when he would start singing my way. <laughs> There's also an Usher song called My Way, which I really like. But anyway, I digress. Um, you're gathering up all your tools here, and you are just going to be breaking through a lot of barriers. You're realizing that you have some skills here. Some of you may have some innate skills with magic and the occult and psychic mediumship that you're going to start um applying to your practical life and you're going to start creating something and spirit is also saying that um you're more power powerful than you think you are but you're breaking through here you're the kool-aid guy <laughs> oh yeah all right tell me about this night what do we need to know about this night Okay, you just need to give yourself some time or, you know, it's all a matter of divine timing, being in the right place at the right time. And you're going to have a sudden breakthrough and shift here with this connection. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. She is the wife, the mother. She is the minor arcana version of the Empress. She's nurturing. She's beautiful. There's going to be a breakthrough here. Um, somebody sees you as marriage material here or you're seeing this other person as marriage material but something is like I said you're letting you're breaking free of old illusions of what relationships marriage love are and can be could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Another Scorpio, Aries, Gemini, or you may have those placements in your own natal chart. But there's Earth here, which is good. It's grounding. It's it's good energy, solid energy. Knight of Cups, yeah, there's an offer here, a proposal. Somebody could be proposing marriage here. Somebody could be proposing marriage, or maybe you're questioning this relationship to see if it can go to marriage. Let's look at the magician. I've got the fool. Okay, there's a new beginning. Taking that leap of faith, you know, just putting your wishes and dreams out into the universe and taking that leap of faith, knowing that spirit has your back. It's, you know, a new beginning, a fresh start, a do-over with this connection. And then you've got the hanged man. Yeah, you are no longer keeping yourself stuck here. Um... You're going to see a lot of changes coming over the next um, six to eight months here in your life. Major changes. The major arcana, these are things that are part of our life's lessons that are put together on the other side. We have no control over that. Look, getting a new perspective here. Releasing what no longer serves you. Being awakened. And then truth, communication, and clarity with this Ace of Swords. Okay? Victory. It's a sword of victory, truth, and justice here. An opportunity for clear, honest communication, breaking through. Realization. It's, it's the minor arcana version of the tower. And a new beginning. And why is this tower here? Got the Hierophant again. A breakthrough there's all of a sudden there could have been an ending to a relationship a sudden ending to a marriage or suddenly realizing um, the lessons that have been learned having faith and knowing that this is all temporary you're not going to be stuck in the same energy forever or there's two people here who want commitment and marriage Ten of Cups, this is emotional fulfillment and happiness. Bliss with a soulmate. Emotional fulfillment. Having it all. And then you've got the Three of Cups hanging out in the bottom of the, the clarifying deck. A reunion, celebration. So if you're if you're stuck or you're there, 
on the rocks with somebody, there's going to be a breakthrough, and I see a long-lasting commitment in your future. Realization about how much this person means to you or how much they, they think that um, you mean to them. The feelings are mutual, I'm sure. All right, let's get some advice from Spirit. Advice from Spirit for you. But yes, yeah, somebody needs to stop being a Carlos Spicy Wiener, Carlos Spicy Taco. Somebody was a player here. Somebody's, you know, changing from being a player to wanting commitment, maybe. Again, it's a general reading. I don't want to be a player no more. All right. Your advice from spirit is death rites, saying goodbye, formal occasion, honoring lives. Again, this is your energy. You are the death card in the tarot deck, um, Scorpio. So it's like you're releasing what no longer serves you. You're tired of doing things the same old, same old. You're, heavy, you're, you're coming into your faith, your spiritual awakening for some of you. Letting go of what no longer serves you. Let's get some love messages on this. Changing your way of thinking. Opening your eyes and seeing the truth. There's a breakthrough. There's a breakthrough in this connection. I'm sorry, my camera has been acting up uh, ever since the Samsung did the most recent update on their system I've been having camera issues so I do apologize we've got reunion yeah and that's shown here with this three of cups you're gonna reunite with this person if you think that this is over it's not over by a long shot ain't done yet Family. I feel like, you know, this person's part of your soul family or you both realize that you want, you know, long-term commitment family. Courtship. Okay, that you may, this again is some sort of an engagement or proposal coming here for some of you. On the bottom, apology. Yes, yeah, somebody needs to apologize for coming in and out of, of your life and being flaky, or maybe you've done that to somebody, Scorpio. And I'm talking to my Scorpio men out there. They, they are flaky. All right. So that's what I have for you at this time, Scorpio. Until I see you again, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye.